Layers is a key concept in Photoshop. So in this tutorial, I'll explain the difference between a flat file and a layered file. I have two files open that look the same. If you look at the document tab, one is called Layers Layered File. It's a PSD file. PSD just stands for Photoshop document. The other file is called Layers Flat File, and it's got the extension .jpg. This flat file has only one item at work here. This background layer, which technically isn't a layer, is really just a flat rectangle of pixeled information. I'm going to show you the difference between these two types of files, the layered and the flat, by starting with the flat file and making some adjustments to it. I'll start off by selecting this orange using the quick selection tool, which is the fourth item down the tool panel here. I'll click near the outside of the orange and drag it until I have a selection outline around it. Now, I'll get the Move tool, which has the keyboard shortcut V. As I hover over this tool, you can see the tooltip tells me that. With the Move tool active, I can now move the orange. I'll click on it and drag it up here to the right. And now we can see the problem with flat files. This JPEG actually has nothing behind the orange. It contains absolutely no information about the missing part of the pear here or the grapes and bananas. With this being the case, when the orange is moved, Photoshop fills this area with an assigned background color. The background color is white by default, and you can see here at the bottom of the tool panel, it's set that way. Let's contrast this with the layered file. I'm picking you've already figured out where I'm going with this and what's going to happen here, because you're all so smart. Hikoi no koto. Now this picture looks exactly the same, but it's been built very differently. In the layers palette, I have each piece of fruit on a separate layer. Each layer is named according to what it contains. So this layer is the orange at the front. Behind that is the pear, and so on. The thumbnail gives you a little preview of the layer. Down the very bottom is a locked background layer, which is white. I'll click the orange layer to make it active. The move tool is still selected, so I'll click and drag the orange again. You can see why layered files are superior when manipulating images. When the orange is removed, I'm not left with a white background. I can actually see the fruit layers stack behind the orange. If I click the grapes layer to make it active, I can move this layer, independent of any other fruit. I can bring the grapes to the front of the picture by clicking and dragging its layer to the top of the stack. If I click the watermelon layer and move it around, you can see that it's moving, but behind the other fruit. It's easier if you imagine that each of these layers is a piece of rectangle glass, stacked one on top of the other. The white and grey checkers mean something is transparent. So looking down from the top, you would see the grapes first, oranges next, and so on. Layers are a key concept in Photoshop. In summary, a flat file is a single layer image. A layered file contains multiple images stacked to appear as one image. Use layers to move image objects independently.